Tabacic of Czechoslovakia needs to move up one position to pick up a medal. Fourth after the short program. Very nice. Triple loop jump. He's been doing some wonderful triple triple revolution jumps, including a triple axle that have been really quite spectacular. Great deal of arm movement that he uses. I don't think it relates too much to the rest of his skating, and I'm not wild about his choreography, but he certainly has been doing some nice triple revolution jumps. Just now. Falcao. Stretching for the stars. Very important part of the program, obviously, here. The last man to compete tonight. Still with a chance to win a medal. Laxo. Now he has one difficult final combination left. There it is. Oh, oh, oh that was a mess. You know, when you fall like that, it really knocks it out of you. And the unfortunate part for him was that it was right here at the end of the program. So the program concluding, and uh, the only question in his mind right now, was it good enough to win a medal? Well, for me, the jumps were nice, the spins were... Uh, okay, the program was not particularly brilliant, um, but he is coming in late in the in the series, so the placement of where he, he is so. But then, we're not the judges. Here's the slow motion on that final triple, and you can just see the combination as he landed. He was overturned, his feet were not out in open position, and he was not able to move after the landing of the first jump. And it would be a shame if that were to cost him a medal. We'll see. Now the march coming up for Sabacic. He's very happy because as he looks at the board, the judges are in perfect unison. Oh. All five eights. Well, you look at that. Now, I guess that makes me wrong on the calling of this thing. I didn't think the technical merit was as broad as it could have been. The jumps were terrific, but there wasn't a great emphasis on spins. But I guess I was wrong because all of those judgment judges are in agreement. First time tonight we have seen nine marks, uh, all similar marks, five eight for technical merit. Now for artistic impression, the marks are not quite as good, but uh, you do have a 5.9 from the Yugoslav well, judge all the way down to 5.5. Well, that's quite a, a difference of opinion, and I guess there was some emphasis on the fall at the end, marring the artistic impression, so to speak. But that The announcement now that Scott Hamilton has indeed won the gold medal. What a terrific moment, no? Well, it all comes true. They started to talk about it in 1981. And the moment is now for Scott Hamilton. Waving to the crowd. Many, many Americans at the Zetra Arena. And Hamilton wins the gold medal in figure skating. And you know, he didn't win it for just one performance, but for a body of work that's lasted over three years. In second place,
race and what a terrific short program and long program bowl for Brian Horser of Canada. What a moment for him. Oh. Energy, energy, energy. Wasn't it sensational? And that's a surprise. Brian Orser, the Canadian flag being waved with great relish as he gets ready to accept this silver medal. I bet our friends in Canada are going crazy, doesn't oh, yeah. it? Been a great Olympics for them so far. And the Czechoslovakian skater, Joseph Zabovic, winds up third. Yes. Putting out Rudy Turner of West Germany, uh, who I certainly thought was a, had a marvelous sort of style and elegance to his skating, but I think he got credit for some of those triple jumps that. Uh